All right, this is a video explaining a new invention. Um, this is an Elytra launcher. It's fairly straightforward, pretty easy to build, takes pretty low resources. A little bit of wood, a little bit of glass. Um, the trick to it is basically there's a large number of boats that are all stacked up, and now that 192, there's a collision mask with those. Players can collide with them and they accelerate you very quickly. So, this little world I have set up here goes step by step explaining the build process. Um, each book tells you each step as you go along and how to get there. And then the final working one is actually not the end one, it's the one before that. The end one is just the one that's been, you know, cleaned up a little bit on how it looks. So, <clears throat> basically, you walk up the stairs hop across this um, slab onto the stairs and the trick is you want to get at the right altitude you want to be aiming at the right altitude so if you're standing at the base of the stairs and you point to the center of that block then you're exactly pretty much 30 degrees so right now I'm at negative 30 to close enough and then so we jump across we move up to the top and then you move your pointer basically until it's right in the center and it hits space and then without moving anywhere else um, it launches you incredibly high into the air, um, usually around 485 to 500 blocks. And as you can see, we're pretty high here. And it does that very reliably. It'll hit you to 480, 485. Um, every once in a while, you'll get a little higher, a little bit lower. The, um, the one thing you need to know is if you get out of center you can actually impact on the edge of the solid blocks here and I haven't figured out a way to make that a hundred percent safe um, as long as you're centered though it's usually pretty good so again if you stand here aim up see right now where I'm standing it's about 30 degrees vertical so that's perfect jump across get our pointer right in the center there then hit space once to fly and then we accelerate very rapidly up into the air and then we can fly a huge distance from 400 altitude you could fly thousands of blocks with a punch two bow you could fly indefinitely so at the moment there is a bug report on Mojang's website for this particular issue with falling from stairs um, if you actually if we uh, go into game mode one we can just create I'll create a little example and I'll show you what this does here so if you have a tall ladder it doesn't have to be that tall actually but if you're on a ladder with an elytra and you hit the space so I'm climbing hit the space you immediately fall down let me go back into game mode zero so you can see what the effect is I'll go all the way to the top actually all right so now if I step down here if I hit space I just fall I guess I wasn't far enough to take any damage there but you can get going very quickly ah there you go so it's odd that you can fall down a ladder like that, but that's what this is using because what happens is you go up the ladder, the web actually just gets you in the right position so you're perfectly in the right spot. So it's very, very reliable. Um, and then you fall down. Right now there's 127 boats all stacked up right here. And you fall along this edge and you just clip them, but you're already flying. So then it shoots you out at an incredible rate and you end up going pretty much straight up. Um, the rest of this here is all, um, let me go over to this one instead of breaking it. Um, basically there's a water source here that pushes the boats back in this direction so they don't go spraying out all the way over into this direction here. The rest of it's just containment pretty much. Um, these furnaces are here because when you build a device you have to push them all the boats over into one spot here with a sticky piston so they have to be non-movable blocks 
and then we replace the piston and the sticky or the, the slime blocks with some stairs just so you can walk up easily and then the rest of this is pretty much decorative. I mean, you, you don't really need the glass here. You do need the ladder. Um, I would highly recommend the, the web at the top. The distance, the height here, you definitely want it to be six blocks. If you go five, you will most likely um, slam into the ground and die every time. So if you go higher, um, you end up, um, basically it'll shoot you out, you know, maybe 30 blocks out along the ground. You just don't get the right um, angles and altitudes so tested this pretty thoroughly and um, so again you basically just come up here get your pointer centered and then hit the space without moving ah see now that time I didn't get the angle right and it moved me out there oh actually I am in game mode zero so I want to be in survival on that I was probably at the wrong angle there let's try this again and there we go. We're shooting up in the air very quickly. All right, so I'll come back down now. Anyway, I will make this uh, little world available for download in the description. And you can take a look. I'll very quickly walk through the salient points. Um, when you spawn in, you'll be right over near here. And this basically just explains what the device is and warns you that you should read the book at the end for the instructions but if you take a look at the book at each section it'll tell you about it um, this device was inspired by somebody else who had done a video on a launcher that used a slime block that shot you up and then you would kind of fall through onto the boats it was a very, very similar design. The setup is exactly the same, pretty much. Um, I extended the, it a little bit, and I'll show you where that is. But, so basically, step one, that's it. Um, you know, basically just duplicate what's over here, which this is just a seven by nine, but the actual device takes up a much smaller footprint. I just left room for, um, down here at the end, you can see where I actually kind of wrapped it in stairs to make it a little more, uh, aesthetically pleasing rather than having it just raw stuff floating out in space um, so basically um, the steps are you put down this framework here um, these signs are just to hold in the water that's going to go right here it needs to flow this direction so there's a single source block that flows this way to push the boats back towards the direction of the dispenser so then once you get the water in then you put the slime blocks and a sticky piston on top so then when you dispense the boats in here they'll pop into the slime block and then they'll float down onto the water and then um, when you're done putting all 127 boats in which is a lot of wood you hit the button it'll shove them all forward and then it stacks them all up nice and neatly right along that edge there and so the next step is putting in the furnaces so that you can because you have to contain the boats if you were to leave those off and hit that button they will spray everywhere um, and then this is setting up for you know your eventual you know little frame where you'll shoot through so you can see here we've got oh and there's also a glass pane here that helps contain them as well so once you get all that put together then on to the next step is we just put some hoppers and chests um, two double chests and two hoppers and the dispenser give you exactly 127 boats. So this is all loaded up ready to go, which in survival is a lot of work and takes a lot of time since boats don't stack. So you just manufacture a bunch and it's going to take a while, but it's worth it. And then once you get them in there, then you can dispense them out, which I've already done here. So at this point, this is where they look like when they're all dispensed. You can see how if you touch them, you know, you're going to get quite the kick because there's actually 127 boats perfectly lined up right there. It's hard to tell, but um, if you look at our entity count, you can see our entities right now. Looking at that is exactly 127. So that's all of those. So then the next step is you basically tear out the hoppers, the chests, take out the piston and the, the slime blocks 
and then we replace this quickly with a uh, with a stair actually the water will leak out but it's not going to harm anything uh, so we put a stair there we put a stair in here and then underneath here is where you'll see the um, there's that glass pane so we place that uh, slab on top to give us that last little jump up when we're ready to put in our stairs and so that's where we are here basically we put in the or sorry the ladder here we put in the ladders and we put in the uh, the cobweb at the top and that's pretty much it and then for the fine to finalize it I just wrap this in the stairs to make it look nice so sorry about the text there um, so now it looks pretty nice so again the trick to flying this thing is you stand on this block you look up put your pointer exactly centered on the cross and the purple block which if you look here is around 30 degrees up um, if it's anywhere between about 20 and 44 degrees I think it's it'll it'll fly fine um, if you go above 44 like 45 46 somewhere around there you'll start actually hitting the top of the block which can kill you also if you're not centered you can hit the block and it can kill you as well but you uh, it's it's actually pretty easy to get this right um, though it is possible to hurt yourself with this still um, anyway if you get down to 20 degrees it'll shoot you very much horizontal first before you go up and so you'll only get an altitude of maybe 280 290 something like that instead of you know 500 ish range so now basically we just hop up here hop up the ladder push our head into the web get our cursor pointed right in there and then hit the space once and let go of the mouse and everything and then you can see our altitude going up 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 and we'll hit about again 485 is pretty normal a little bit higher than that 495 this time but it's very reliable on how it launches you the direction and the distance um, the altitude I mean so I'm assuming that if you uh, wanted to tune this to shoot you off you know not quite so high because that's pretty high I mean that's ridiculously high you could fly way too far that way it's actually a little bit dangerous because you're so high you can get going way too fast um, I'll go ahead and show you what happens when you hit about 20 degrees here so there's 20 that's not too bad so right here I'm standing on the second stair and basically pointing at the center block so once you get used to it you know you can kind of get a feel for it without having to really look at it every time and let's try this so here we go drop and now we won't go up quite as high and it's still pretty high still 400 but that's almost 100 less unfortunately though if we go much lower than that on our um, inclination I think we'll we won't actually do a, a successful launch we'll try it real quick and see I'll try doing like 15 or so and see how that looks so let's get up to there's just tick over 15 get centered and same deal and we'll drop okay that worked pretty good too now of course I'm also pointing straight up the whole time you know so you could moderate that by you know immediately when you launch actually level out and then you could fly you know, very far at a reasonable height I'll try that real quickly we can see how that goes I'll go with the let me go and ditch this stuff oops you can put the book back wherever I stole it from all right so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do the the 30 degree what I would consider the normal mode here normal operation so stand here look up get to about 30 degrees right on and then we'll go ahead and get centered do our thing launch and then I'm gonna level out okay so I'm at 200 basically where I was there and I'm already 600 um, blocks away from where we were pretty much in just a couple of seconds so that's uh, pretty smooth sailing over long distances this way get us back over there 
So that was a little more manageable um, over normal terrain. I think that would feel a lot better than going up to 500 blocks. That just seems a little excessive. So that's pretty much it. And if anyone has any questions, let me know and I will do my best to answer them. Thank you very much. Have a good day, Minecrafters.